Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the second Con Connect IL conference. In my life, personally, on any given day, from the moment I wake up, I am expected to wade through a ton of information, whether it's my personal schedule, other people's schedules, my kids' carpool schedules, news briefings, what's going on that day, information that I need to catch up on, information that I'm not interested in hearing. I am bombarded with lots and lots of stuff. I meet lots of people through the internet, Facebook, email, telephone calls. I meet a lot of people and in the course of the day they tell me their ideas, they pitch me stories, um, we share information and at the end of the day as I more often than not crawl out from under a pile of emails that I couldn't get through in that day. Thanks to the wonderful technology of today and the smartphone, it keeps on coming. It <laughs> follows me home. It's there 24-7. Though, uh, a little fact that we might not have discovered yet, there is a button on top that makes it stop for a few minutes. So if you haven't done it yet, now would be a good time. Anyways, but I digress. Um, we're bombarded, all of us, by lots of information, more than any of us can handle. But at the end of the day, for me, what sticks? What sticks with me, more often than not, is a personal story or an anecdote that someone shared with me that resonated with me. Not just me, the professional, but resonated with me, the human being, or the mom, or the artist, or all the things that make me who I am, that touched me in some way. And after a few months, certainly after a year, if someone would ask me to recall the contents of that particular given day, who I met with, what I absorbed, what I heard, what I learned, I'd be hard pressed to remember any of it. Though there's a small chance I might remember that person in the story that they told me. And I would probably be more likely if that person, even after a year, would give me a call or send me an email to part with my most precious thing that I have to share, and that's my time, to hear what he has to say because there was some connection there. Because the truth is, all of us, we don't remember a lot about what we read or what we see. We don't remember what people tell us or explain to us or throw at us, but there is one thing that we do remember, whether we want to or not over time, we always remember how someone made us feel. The unique capacity that we have to process and store a personal experience that moved us to feel something, anything, good or bad, if someone embarrassed or humiliated us or if someone inspired us or made us laugh, an experience like that it enters us, it actually enters our soul, it becomes part of us and in some part, it makes us who we are, so we own it. And it endures, it stays with us. And we can remember an experience like that in a way completely different than our memory for all that other noise that I just talked about. At the point when we have that kind of connection, that is the beginning of a true relationship. A relationship that impacts on us and the other. Connect IL was born from the desire to build real, authentic, human relationships. Relationships that enrich both sides, relationships that have an emotional connection, and relationships that ultimately will help Israel increase our relevance in all different kinds of conversations and markets around the world, hopefully to bring people together to build and create things together, and to express our national identity. Now all the work that we've done in the foreign ministry, the very good and important work that I personally have been, been involved in over almost a decade, about trying to hone in on the unique spirit of what it means to be Israeli, the DNA of Israeliness, the creativity and the values that we share that make us who we are, that explain our actions and our, our source of motivation as right as all that is, it was never our intention to grandstand and to explain to the world, 
this is who we are, this is how we want you to see us. It doesn't work that way. All right, that's not a two-way relationship, that's not a personal or relevant experience. Connect IL is a community of Israelis, of real people that you're about to meet today, some of them, and they come from all different walks of life. They're involved in all different kinds of fields and not necessarily related, and they come not to be spokesmen for Israel, but to just talk about themselves, their personal experiences, their passions. And while they talk about what they care most about in their life, in a way that people can relate to, at the same time, whether they plan to or not, they are also, they are also weaving together a tapestry, a rich tapestry that creates together the actual fabric of Israeliness, but in the most authentic way, in the way that people can relate to. So whether we are talking about the entrepreneurial culture that exists here in Israel and creates a very fertile ground for creativity and expression, or the deep value of tikkun olam, the very difficult and not recommended um, explanation of this deep value, not recommended to explain, uh, the value uh, that the premium that Israelis place on the desire not just to build a better life and world for themselves and their family, but also to be part of the puzzle that is the solution for global problems and challenges, small or large. It's not recommended to talk about it. It's very hard to convey. But when we meet someone who has devoted his or her life to that exact goal, there's no need to explain. It becomes crystal clear, and it becomes part of our experience. When we talk about the vibrant cultural diversity that exists in this country, we can, but it's not the best idea to talk about the facts and figures and history of all the different cultures that exist here. It is so much more authentic and fun and meaningful to roll up our sleeves and to go taste, smell, touch, and feel the results, the fruit of the creative mix of all these ingredients when Israelis who embrace our differences instead of shying away from them and playfully create fusion that creates something altogether new. When we experience that and we make it part of our own experience, this is truly the best way to get a sense of what's going on here. So without further ado, I said we shouldn't talk about it, we should experience it. For those of you who are here today, and I'm glad to see a lot of returning faces from our launch in January, and also our new uh, guest that came to learn about Connect IL. For those of you that are here in search of content development, a service that Joanna will talk about in a few minutes, or if you're looking for an engaging speaker for your next event or conference, or if you're looking for someone to invite to a less formal meal to share with your guests who are visiting from abroad, or if you're here just out of curiosity or looking for a few moments of personal inspiration, either way, I hope you enjoy the rest of the program. I very much look forward to hearing your feedback and comments. So enjoy the rest of the day. And with no further ado, I'd like to call up Joanna, the founder and CEO of Kinetis.